Hey folks, Android Central here. We have got a Droid Iris and a Motorola Droid, both on Verizon. And so it only seems fitting that we do a uh, comparison between the two. We're going to do a browser comparison between the two. We know that the Moto Droid has got uh, a little bit more uh, speed in its processor, and we know that uh, Sense takes up a lot of space on the Iris uh, in terms of overhead. So we're going to clear both the caches on the browsers and we are going to see which can uh, render a page better. One quick note, it's really difficult to tell from the screen here, uh, but actually the on the right, the Droid actually has a much nicer looking screen, not just because of the extra pixels, but it also the white comes through much whiter, whereas there's a red tint on the Iris, which is on the left, but you can't really tell from the video here. And you can see here I am attempting to type on the uh, default Android keyboard and well, I need some practice to uh, to say the least. Um, this is a reason to consider the Iris over the Droid, even though the Droid is the more popular phone, at least in the blogosphere right now, because the uh, the keyboard on the Iris is just so much easier to use software-wise. One other notable thing, you see me jabbing my finger around, the uh, Iris defaults to hiding all of the uh, extra elements, whereas on the Droid, they've got that menu bar up at the top, which is uh, kind of funny. Here I am typing away at the Iris, and you can see I am having a much easier time of it. It's a much better software keyboard. All right, well, let's hit go, and let's start counting. And uh, we are loading, and it is taking a fair bit of time. I think we're actually suffering under some uh, traffic load over at AndroidCentral.com, which is uh, why we are having some uh, pretty poor load times here. So let's give it another minute, see if we can figure out which one is going to load first. Tick tock, tick tock, tick, tick tock, tickety tockety. There we go. So we've got, of course, the droid pulling down content first and boom, there's the Iris pulling down content. Now the other thing you're noticing right away is the droid gives you the overview look right away whereas the Iris, because it's still on Android 1.6, gives you that sort of zoomed in view right away which I find kind of annoying. And there it is, the droid is finished and you can scroll around and uh, here, a quick scroll test, you can see just how quickly it's able to flick through a page when you go for a fast flick scroll which is very, very cool. And double tap, zoom right in, rotate the text, it reflows the text. It's a, well, it's, it's a darn good browser, I tell you what. On the Iris, we've uh, got it finished too, and it also, once it has the page loaded, is able to uh, scroll through fairly quickly on a quick flick scroll. And uh, you can uh, zoom around here as well. Not too shabby. Well, what browser comparison would be complete without a comparison to the iPhone 3GS? We're going to throw the iPhone 3GS on AT&T's network. We're going to leave the Androids over on Verizon's network. And uh, we are going to go to uh, TIPB.com, uh, the iPhone blog.com. Only fitting since it is... Uh, we're comparing it to the iPhone. And one thing that's notable here on uh, all of these devices, you're going to see that it is going to go to the iPhone version of the page. We've got auto detection up on TIPB.com. And so it will uh, it will display that iPhone page for all three when we load them up here. So we're going to give, uh, we'll give the iPhone a little head start here. Oh, no, we'll give the Droid a head start. I take that back. All right, and uh, we are off to the races. And they are all working. And look at that. Boom, boom. The droid has got it. And the iPhone 3GS is not too far behind. And there's the Iris. Obviously, this is a very light page because it, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot, of, you know, to do because it's a mobile theme. So we are going to go down to the bottom here. And we're going to turn off the mobile theme on all three. It's going to pop up an OK button. And, oh, I hit the cancel button instead. So the iPhone is going to be a little bit behind the other two. But we'll see if it is able to catch up. So here we go. iPhone 3GS versus Iris versus Droid. Loading up the full version of the iPhone blog. And wow, look at that. The iPhone 3GS has really pulled it down very quickly. It is uh, filling in all the extra bits. 
and there it is it is done iphone 3gs by a long way and here comes the droid it is catching up and there's the iris now the droid uh, is still working a little bit but we can zoom in and look at content on uh, both devices and uh, droid's still working so is the iris wow there is the droid is finished and the iris is still working a little bit but yeah, I tell you what, these uh these two, it looks like the uh, the 3GS really got that page rendered a lot more quickly, or loaded at least. Uh, it is funny that the iPhone is rendering the page a little bit differently, whereas the Droid is going straight to that width there. But that's the way it is. They're they're both WebKit browsers, but the things can be different, and they both can handle landscape, uh you know, equally well. Oh, the iPhone kind of wants to give you more of the page there. Zoom in on the iPhone, zoom in on the Iris, or I'm sorry, the Droid, and you can see the text is quite a little bit bigger on the uh, the iPhone there. Although the Droid does let you reflow the text when you zoom way in, which is a, a nice feature. So there you have it, folks: the Iris, the Droid, and the iPhone 3GS. The iPhone 3GS does still seem to uh, win in terms of loading and rendering pages, although the Droid is not too far behind. Uh, it's certainly ahead of the Iris, although, again, not that much ahead of the Iris. Uh, in all, I think that, um, you know, you've got really nothing to be ashamed about if you're using the Droid for web browsing. It is some pretty quality stuff.